Wow, what a way to start a Saturday morning, right? Absolutely. This is amazing. Hello to all of you guys watching on Boeing.com. We are live in Everett, Washington, just north of Seattle for the Boeing 777X first flight. I'm Josh Green with Boeing Communications. This I'm is Emily Sanchez um, with Boeing Marketing. All right. And you know, it looks like uh, the skies are gray today, but today is in a lot better conditions than yesterday. Yes, it definitely is. And it's unfortunate that we weren't able to fly yesterday, but of course, safety is a priority here at Boeing and the conditions just weren't right for us to take off. As you mentioned, it's looking a lot better today. Winds are in better condition. Um, there's more of a ceiling. So. So we're excited to see yeah, that's the right. airplanes taxiing down now. And uh, on the webcast, you should be able to hear that chatter. That's air traffic control here at Payne Field. Keep in mind, this is a commercial airport. So there are other flights taking off. You know, a lot of people ask about that yesterday, Emily. It's like, hey, I can hear other flights coming in. 
going out. Yep. Why is it the 777X fine? But the parameters are different for first flight. And yeah, absolutely. And it really came down to taking off um, in the north and Ted described that for us yesterday, that all the other aircraft taking off here uh, yesterday were going toward the south, and we have requirements. We want to go out over the water and make sure that we're as safe as possible for this very first maiden voyage of the 777X. And there were about 8,000 employees joining us yesterday on the uh, flight line here. And let's just take a look at the highlights. You can see a lot of spectators over at the Future of Flight. Journalists were with us. Uh, that's 777X leadership greeting the thousands of people out here. Craig Bauman was on the right side in the flight deck yesterday. Van Cheney on the left side. Same uh, for today. Look at those crowds. It was wet. It was windy. But we still had a great time yesterday. 8,000 people I, uh, and a lot of people a lot of people are interested in this airplane total throughout the day yesterday there were more than 450,000 viewers what a great turnout on the I webcast at least some of those are tuning back in this morning because I think it's going to be a really really great day to fly this airplane but what a great turnout as you can see on the video those wingtips folding down yesterday that was a really exciting moment for the teams um, and then the aircraft sat and waited for winds, unfortunately had to taxi back in. And now we're looking live at the aircraft as it continues to taxi down the runway. Again, hopeful that we can take off and have this first flight this morning. Emily, let's take a, talk a little bit about now it's going down, I believe that's taxiway A at Payne Field, going down to the south end, taking off to the north. Uh, let's and I talk do about wanna, those customers. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a nice shot of the customers. Again, eight world-class customers that have purchased this aircraft so far. ANA, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Emirates, Etihad, Lufthansa, Qatar, and Singapore. A huge thank you to those. And um, very cool that we can have all of their tails up there on that first 777X. Eventually, you can see that those folding wing tips are up right now eventually those are going to fold down emily let's talk a little bit about the length of that wing why is it so important absolutely so the wing is really incredible 236 feet span and it's a larger wing than the 777 300 er so with all that extra wing area it's going to be able to create more lift for the airplane now that's really important on takeoff one of the most important phases of flight because it's going to create more lift, allowing the aircraft to not accelerate to such a fast speed. So for the same weight, we can take off with slower speeds. That means we'll have a shorter field length. So we, um, we can also take off with more weight, using up that extra field length, or we can use that uh, speed capability to, to reduce thrust and, and derate the airplane as well. All things that help our customers uh, be able to be more flexible in their operations, whether that's carrying more passengers and payload, um, you know, being able to, to use less thrust helps the environment and helps them um, in terms of maintenance costs and stuff like that. So, so the wing is really an incredible piece of this and allowing this takeoff to happen today and it has taken boeing team members and valued partners around the world to make this aircraft a reality let's hear from some of them on this big day congratulations to the seven first flight welcome to the fleet we made it Thank, Thank you, you for, for all your hard work and dedication. Great job, Triple Seven X. Keep them moving. All the hard work paid off. Can't wait to see this thing fly. Go Triple Seven X. We go Triple Seven X. You rock. Working together. We love you, Triple Seven X. It's pretty amazing to see how it all comes together. It feels awesome. I'm proud to have worked on 777X. Fly that 777X. Revolutionary is what Boeing is all about. It's a hot ride in the sky. Way, Way to go, 777X. Welcome to the family, 777X. From HPL. All upper panel and lower panel. And all that 777X. Congratulations. The best airplane in the next generation. 777X. Let's do this. Congratulations, 777X team. Another world-changing airplane. All of you proud to support 777X. 
Wishing Turtle 7X a great flight from Auburn, Washington. Congratulations on your first flight. Congratulations, Triple Seven X program, on your first flight from RMD. Again, another live look down at Payne Field in Everett, Washington. We are just about half an hour or so north of Seattle in the Pacific Northwest part of the United States. Hello to everybody watching around the globe. What an exciting day for Boeing, what an exciting day for aviation. Uh, you are watching the 777X, the brand new 777X, taxiing onto the runway. This is the VIP area, which is close to that runway. You might have seen uh, some of those yellow vests from the helicopter as the uh, airplane was taxiing. Some of those are media, others are VIP. A lot of folks around the globe interested in this today. Yeah, I'm so excited that, that people have turned out today as well. Um, again, unfortunately, yesterday we weren't able to take off, but today is looking a lot more promising as the aircraft continues to taxi down the runway. And Ted, one of our uh, pilots told us yesterday that the reason we take off to the north is that it's a lesser populated area. It's for the safety of the public. It's for the safety of Boeing crews. Uh, safety is top priority. On Absolutely. First flight. It, it really is, and we want to make sure that we don't take off over populated areas like you said that we take every precaution on this maiden voyage of the brand new 777x so um we're gonna sit here for a minute and and just watch the airplane do its thing and uh we'll come back when there's more action And the winglets are folding down. Again, part of the 777X is those incredible wingtips that are going to fold up so it can fit in that code E gate and then be able to fold down and have that full length span during flight, allowing it to have better aerodynamic capability and, and create that incredible lift that this wing is capable of. So just one of those steps in taking this airplane to take off.